faces Takato Nawahisa of Japan. It'll be Safarov in the white jidogi, Takato in blue. First, no, sorry, three times they've gone head to head, and Takato has won all three. Here's Leo. Yeah, this is going to be good. Safarov uh, had a great uh, semi final. Of course, surprise getting to the final. He was world ranked five. Very, very consistent Safarov. But uh, Takato, Takato on incredibly good form. Just did enough in his semi final. So you never know. You know, Safarov here is a big thrower. So Safarov could upset the apple cart here. We have seen it before with Takato, but not in a world final. World final's different. This guy here has been world champion already. Safarov hasn't. There will be huge support for both these fighters. Japan, absolute, you know, home of judo. And yet, Azerbaijan, they love their grappling arts as well and judo is very very popular there they've had olympic champions um, world champions let's see if safarov can add to that list yeah i mean already uh, an amazing performance takato though i think is going to be a real handful for him final of the under 60 kilograms On the sleeve and poor attack there from Takato. Felt that he had to go in there. Just a little bit of a panic attack, I think. Nice little pressure there. Safarov was beginning to um, shape for an attack, the can't they just block that, closed it down. Yeah, left to left as well, no rotation mm. on that. Saying that, Takato gets it for the uh, grip on the sleeve. Well, they're both on the sleeves here, so they have to attack in. They've got to go in. End of the sleeve grip is quite popular now and one of the main reasons is the jacket's just that little bit bigger gives a, a more, more of an opportunity yeah more opportunity uh, for for the sleeve grip and so they had to make the rule that if you catch the outside of the sleeves you can't just push them down you have to use it in order to attack Oh, Sienagi there, Takato. Takato's keen on using that lower part of the, 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 the jacket when it's outside, because it's difficult to then say, was it under the belt or not? <laughs> well, you're allowed to uh, take the bottom part of the yeah. jacket if it is outside the belt. If it's inside the belt, you can't. Yeah. So you get a p uh, penalized for it. So. You know, the gripping strategies are there. Everybody knows them. It's, it's the same for everybody, you know, so you could say, well, you know, let's let any grip we, so that we can grip anywhere. But the fact is, is that you've got to draw the line somewhere. They know what the score is. You know, that was a remark. Oh, now then, that's a great change of direction from Takato. Wazari scored. Safarov didn't quite get the direction for it. And uh, just got off balanced, really. Are we going to see it again? Here we go. 
Tries for the Ko Soto. Look at the Ouchi there, change um, of direction. Yeah. Beautiful. He hardly had to change anything with the leg, did he? Once um, Safarov mm. had hooked in, he allowed that hook to be used. He used that himself. And, and he did it again! again. Yeah. Gets the hip on this time. Gets a drive off the back leg and the full hip on because he takes Safarov cleanly onto his back for the hip on. Fire. Two good scores. The first one really setting up the second because you could 40 seconds left on the clock. Safarov had very little option but to open up. I just feel that he defended reasonably well up until.